update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials. Finished up 28. NASDAQ is down 13. S&P is off three and a half. Gold. Gold contract caught a bid up 13.90, 18.05 an ounce. We had silver up 80 cents, $20.64 an ounce. Platinum up $15.80 at 9.40 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 60. $90.61 notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 16 ticks, trading at a price point of 119.28. The 30 year bond was up a point and a half at 142. 21 and King Dollar. King Dollar traded down. Here we go. So I got to get this right in front of me. I can't. Down 221 ticks, 106, 400. The euro is at 101, the yen is at 135, and the British pound, folks, is at 120 to 1 the US dollar. We'll get over and we take a look at the SPs first, but you're going to see out here, bottom line, you're actually pushing highs and you get volume on the push. You didn't hold price. The SPs really went sideways, down 42 cents. You did 50 million shares. Well, the last swing high was 67 million. So, bottom line, you're going to need more volume there, no doubt about that, but it's not backing down, man. Uh, it actually took out the June 1st high, uh, but we didn't get the volume either. So bottom line, you're going to do more backing and filling. NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. We have with the three Qs, same type of setup. The difference is that the Qs, bottom line, got some good volume. 43 million shares. Last time we were up here, which was last Thursday, you only did 38 million. So you can see you did 5 million more, you got over it, then you didn't hold price. That's saying, yeah, you can back down a bit, but the bottom line, that is making its way up into the uh, next swing up here is about 347, and we're at 320 right now. We go to King Dollar. So King Dollar is what it's all about, folks, okay? The bottom line is that if the dollar goes higher, markets go lower. The dollar goes lower, markets go higher. It's flat out. And today what you had is, you know, bottom line, King Dollar is dealing with this uh, 106,792 area. You know, you got above it again today, couldn't hold it. Got above it again Friday, couldn't hold it. You're staying right at it, though. That's, that's the kicker here. So we'll see how this shakes out. It's 106,792. That's the number to keep your eye on. If we go to the 10-year and we take a look at the yield out here, we are yielding 2.7. And if we actually look at the 10-year note, how the 10-year note is set up, what you're going to see is that it's starting to consolidate. Is it uh, 850,000 contracts? That's shot contract volume. But what has happened, you came down to the breakout area, you're consolidating. This looks to me like it's building cause for higher price, lower yield. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Look at him, folks.